So, you've realized that Windows has become a bloated, advertisement-riddled, AI-infested dumpster fire of an operating system. But for some reason, you still haven't taken the Linux pill yet. Or maybe you have, but you still want to use Windows to play a couple specific video games or run some other applications that don't work on Linux yet. Whatever your reason is for still using Windows 10 or Windows 11 in current year, I'm going to teach you how to make it less bloated at minimal cost to you. The tool that we're going to be using to do this is called Win11 Dbloat, which is basically a free and open source collection of PowerShell scripts that do things like remove some of the default apps that ship with Windows, which Microsoft does not let you uninstall, or at least they don't let you uninstall them on the non-EU versions of Windows. I think uh, people that are within Europe, they get special privileges. Um, but yeah, if you're in America or anywhere else in the world, uh, some of these apps probably really get on your nerves. Like this whole top row really annoys me in, in ways I just, that's hard to put into words. So, you know, Microsoft Edge, this is basically just a more bloated version of Chrome at this point. Like it literally is using the same browser engine as Chrome under the hood. Um, I don't really know anyone that, is using Microsoft Edge on purpose. Like there's probably a few old folks in my family that just don't know about other browsers and they just use Edge because it's there. But you know, if you're using any other browser, like probably most people watching this, this is just taking up space on your system needlessly. Um, now this group here, right? The whole Microsoft Office suite is really annoying because you know, when you open up anything from you know Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote, whatever, uh, and you haven't already purchased a license key for Microsoft Office, or you're not signed in with a Microsoft account that has Office 365 purchased on it, then you basically have just a locked down version of the app. Like the app is still taking up space on your hard drive, you know, if you open it, it's gonna use up RAM and, and CPU cycles and everything like that, but you can't actually use it, right? You have this window that's blocking you and you try to click around it, you can't do anything um, except for close Word, which of course closes it down. So yeah, um, if you're using LibreOffice, any other Office suite, or if Windows is just a glorified gaming system to you, like I suspect it is for several people watching this, um, then this is just, needlessly using up your hard drive space and your start menu real estate. Um, mail and calendar, I don't know anyone who uses these. Microsoft Store, I don't know anyone who uses that on purpose either. Um, WhatsApp is here for some reason, I don't know, maybe that's the result of some shady back alley deal with uh, Microsoft and the Zuck. Um, OneNote, we kind of already covered that. Paint, I mean, this, honestly, Paint is the only thing in here that's, you know, halfway decent. I used to goof off and paint all the time when I was in school. So, you know, yeah, Paint's a little nostalgic. Uh, the rest of this, though, it's just bloat that, again, you can't remove by default in Windows. Of course, any good de-bloating tool is going to let you remove the telemetry that's enabled in Windows. Um, this is basically a constant stream of diagnostic data that your PC is sending to Microsoft so that they can supposedly improve their operating system. Yet, the more data that they collect, the worse Windows seems to get. Strange how that works. Um, now, when it comes to de-bloating Windows, what I've seen most people do out there is create a custom ISO for Windows 10 or Windows 11 that starts off de-bloated. And they just use that for Windows installations, or if they're already using Windows, they just reinstall it from that USB stick. Um, or like if their grandma says that their computer's slow, then they just install their version of Windows on it for her. But I feel like that's a little bit more of, um, an advanced thing to do, right? Like um, running a PowerShell script on an already running version of Windows, which is what this is. Like this doesn't reinstall Windows, it just debloats it for you. Um, I feel like that's gonna be a little bit easier for most people to do. And obviously uh, you don't have to deal with data loss with reinstalling Windows. Although 
Let me be very clear, you should absolutely make a backup of your Windows installation if you got anything important on there before running any type of de-bloating script. Okay, backup, create a system restore point, you know, whatever you gotta do to make sure that your data is safe. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and get started with this. Okay, so if we scroll down to usage, we see that the quick method here is to just copy this bit of code and then run PowerShell as a um, administrator. And then of course you have to click yes on the user account control thing um, and then just paste this in. Um, but you know, I don't think that uh, this is the way that most Windows users are gonna want to do their de-bloating. Um, you know, and it can be dangerous just copying random stuff and pasting it into PowerShell as an administrator. Uh, so we're gonna go with the traditional method where we download the latest version of this script here. And then we're gonna just extract it here into the downloads folder. And then we get this win 11 dbloat master. Um, so if we go into here, um, what we're looking for is this run um, dot bat, or you know, this Windows batch file that says run. Uh, so if you double click that, it'll again give you the user account control um, prompt. So select yes on that. And then it pulls up your administrator PowerShell window. And so now we're running the dbloat script. Um, so default mode is going to just apply default settings, but um, you know, for the sake of this tutorial, and also you should probably just at least see what it does the first time you run it, uh, we're gonna go through custom mode. All right, so um, our options from here are to first remove the default selection of bloatware app from app-list.txt. So, Applist.txt is right here in the same um, in the same um, folder as the run.bat. And so this has the list of everything that it takes off by default if you wanted to browse through that. Um, we can remove from that list, or we can remove that list in addition to mail, calendar, developer apps, and gaming apps, or we can select which apps to remove and which ones to keep. So I'll do option three, and that's gonna bring up this pop-up window where you can now scroll through and select um, different apps. You can check or uncheck all at the top, and I recommend checking this one to only show installed apps because not all Windows installations are the same. You know, some people are uh, lucky and they get extra bloat that others don't get. Or maybe they're unlucky. I guess it depends on how you look at it. All right, so I can go through here and I'm um, gonna get rid of Edge. I'm gonna get rid of the Microsoft Get Help, um, Microsoft People. I'm gonna leave Paint because like I said, Paint is, uh, it's got a special place in my heart. Remove Outlook, remove OneDrive. Um, we'll get rid of this whiteboard, uh, calendar, camera, communications apps, uh, Windows Store. Definitely gonna get rid of that. Um, all this Xbox stuff. I don't even own an Xbox. Um, Microsoft Your Phone. I don't even know what that is. Is that from like the Microsoft Phone days? <laughs> um, okay, sure. Yeah, I think this is good. So we'll confirm, and then it um, tells you here that you have selected 32 apps for removal. And you know, depending on what apps you select, like this Xbox um, thing, you have this extra option to disable Xbox Game DVR, sure. Um, then we have the option to remove all pinned apps from the start menu. This applies to all existing and new users and can't be reverted, so that's all of this bloat here that they were talking about, I'm gonna say yes. Disable telemetry, absolutely. And app launch tracking and targeted ads, yeah. I'd really appreciate if Microsoft didn't track everything that we did within this operating system. Uh, disable tips, tricks, suggestions, and start screen, yep. 
disable and remove Bing Search, Bing AI, and Cortana in Windows Search. Absolutely. I thought that uh, Windows or Microsoft pretty much killed Cortana off. So I guess you just kind of have Cortana's corpse floating around in, in Windows, and this will delete that or disable it. <laughs> Uh, disable Windows Copilot, yes, even though I don't have it um, enabled on here. Or no, Recall, that's that's what I was thinking of. Yeah, disable Recall, even though I don't have it on here because I don't have one of those fancy Snapdragon X PCs. Uh, restore the old Windows 10 style context menu. So this apparently doesn't work uh, depending on what version of Windows you're running. So um, let me see, I'm running. Um, 22631, you know, 23H2, and this OS build. So yeah, we'll just, we'll just see, you know, I mean, this is, this is a test anyway. Um, nothing, there's nothing important on this computer. Uh, so we'll see what happens. Do you want to make any changes to taskbar? Nope. And any changes to Windows Explorer? Nope. Um, disable context menu options? No. And then we'll press enter to confirm. Let's see if it breaks this Windows install or if it just debloats it. All right, so it says that the script uh, completed successfully. I did notice that there was um, one error here, I guess, with uninstalling Microsoft Edge. So let's see if it's in here. I mean, I don't have anything pinned. And yeah, it looks like Edge still is on there. So might be a little bit of additional work that uh, needs to be done to get rid of Edge completely. But as you can see, everything else was done successfully. A whole lot of stuff was removed successfully. So now this Windows is debloated. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share it to hack the algorithm and check out my online store based.win where you can get awesome merch like the Little Damon t-shirt or the tie-dye tour tee as well as accessories for your phone or computer. 10% discount store-wide when paying in Monero XMR. Have a great rest of your day.